good morning guys this is what I look like so ignore that but I wanted to show you my dad is putting the Christmas trees up in our yard can you see that no it's just a screen okay well I'm gonna creep on my dad <laughs> Let's see if he notices me here. We usually put trees up outside. We didn't do it the past couple years though. But now that it's like still nice out in December, I think he's taking advantage of it. It's supposed to be like 40 today, but... He's not gonna notice me. And they're singing. What's better than this? Guys being dudes. Alright, I'm literally in a shorts and a t-shirt, so I'm going back inside. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, good morning, I guess. <laughs> I'm, like, lazy today. Like, let's me laugh. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, like I was saying, nobody wakes up perfect, so. Alright, good night. Uh, not good night. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna shower now. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, so I just showered and got ready for the day. I feel so much better now. I feel like a shower just helps so much. Um, but now I'm doing some cleaning because it's gotten pretty messy in here. Um, I haven't been here that long even, but it just kind of, it all piles up. So I'm doing some different organizational things so that I can hopefully stay on track with keeping things where they go. So that's what I'm doing now. But I thought I'd update you guys and Let's do some cleaning. So it's a lot later, actually. Um, it's like 5 o'clock. I have not done anything today, so we love that. I'm here with Kelton. We're working on some computer stuff. Mom is here also on her computer. How was work today, Mom? Work was fabulous. It's time to online shop for Christmas because I can't go anywhere. Right. <laughs> so that's, we, that's what we were doing. And uh, Paisley's here is chilling and all that stuff. So, staring contest. You won. Okay. <clears throat> See you at dinner. Bye. Okay, hey guys. So, it's been a while now. It's after dinner time. And I just went down into my uh, room downstairs and I got my old high school t-shirts that were all in this bag. Cause I'm gonna make a t-shirt quilt out of them um, over this break. So, I was gonna look through them and see which ones I wanted to use and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys and kind of go down memory lane a little bit. Woohoo. This is a jacket, so it's not going in. This is my forensic jacket. Um, in Wisconsin, we called speech forensics, so that's it's basically just like a speech and debate team. But I had a jacket for that, and it had my name on it. I never wore this thing, I don't think. I don't remember doing this. <laughs> I think this is one of the... So this must have been one of my high school shows. But we did the Brothers Grimm Spectacular-thon. Yep. And must have been one of the plays that we did. This is one of the shows that I was in. 
I'm not fright. The shirts are not good. I didn't like the <laughs> shirts. But it has my name on the back. Or my character name. I was Jane. If you're not back by midnight, you won't be coming home. I don't know why it said that. 2017. I don't know if I want the front or the back. Probably the front. I would take the back. This is one of the middle school shows that I helped out with. Law and Order Nursery Rhyme Unit. I think they were trying to figure out who killed Humpty Dumpty in this show. It was stupid. <laughs> but like a funny kind of stupid. Yeah. But that'll definitely go on. A lot of them are like red. Every year our volleyball team would have this fundraiser called Dig Pink. And they would always sell these shirts. And everybody would buy one, and they all the proceeds went to breast cancer. So, ever bought one? Yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. in 2015, this would have been my freshman year shirt. Oh, so, yeah. Ew! Why is this all dirty and gross? Probably worn a lot. Maybe it's grease. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a little. It's so dirty, ick. Oh well. Fall of 2015. 15. See, it's hard because like a lot of these have stuff on the back too. So I don't know. Right. So, I'm, I'm going to throw this out, alright? Yeah. There isn't one reason in the whole entire world why you can't do a front and a back t-shirt quilt and put them together. Hmm. So that when the front of the t-shirt is in this square, if you've turned it over, so is the back. Yeah. That'd be cool. That's a little different, unique. Now, that one there doesn't have anything on the back. Right. Make it a gray square. Just, yeah, doesn't matter. Back. Right, yeah. exactly. It becomes just a t-shirt. This is my freshman year homecoming shirt. Damn, we're so <coughs> really gimped out. They're all gildens. Yeah. This is when I was in the powder puff game. My junior year. Can't remember if we won or not. We used to do this thing. It was called powder puff. It was basically a girls football game. We always did it before... Homecoming. So it was like the junior girls versus the senior girls. That was fun. Aww, I have a Camp Pepin shirt. This must have been from when I was a counselor, maybe? Because where else would I have gotten this? But, well, like I'm, I'm pretty sure this is. Right. No, I'm pretty sure this is a counselor shirt. It has to go in there. Oh, uh, this is my NHS shirt. I was in National Honor Society. I was actually the president. <laughs> I was the president of our National Honor Society my senior year, but this was the shirts that we got made. Yeah, see, I have to have to have this. This is everybody's signature. So these are our senior shirts that we had made. This was our, um, our motto, not motto, but like, I think we had to pick a quote, and it was Watch Us Glow, and our senior lock-in was like, neon themed or whatever. Yeah, which makes sense, because this is from the actual lock-in. And then we all had to sign this, the back of the shirt, so all of our signatures are on here. Mine is right here. Right on the wall. Underneath Olivia, of course. <laughs> I think I went through the line in there with her. I, um, I'm not on ours because I was gone by the time they did it. I think oh, they yeah. did it like the senior picnic day or whatever. Mm. When yeah, see, I know we did this in senior <clears throat> year. They had a day where we, all the seniors were pulled out of class, and they brought us to the cafeteria, and they had us do all these, like, senior things. Yeah. It was Senior Sunday, I think. Sunday? We had Sundays. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. They pulled us out of class, we had Sundays, and then we had to sign on the stuff, we had to say, like, most likely to's, like, yearbook kind of yep, stuff yep. at the beginning of the year. <clears throat> so, I think that's when we did this. Oh, this is when we went to... Is it Alaska? I think these are Alaska shirts. No. Yeah. Am I wrong? From Wisco to Cali. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> I had a 50 50 chance. <clears throat> Did you go to Spain with school then? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that was a school trip that we took. Okay, well, this has a front and a back. Honestly, like, I would rather have this part than. <clears throat> this part is just like a quote. But yeah, since I'm packing front and back, it doesn't really matter. I'll have to choose. It's another dig pink. Very similar. 
This is a long sleeve from my. I wore this all the time. I literally wore I this a lot. I remember that one. Yeah. This is from my Seven Brides for Seven Brothers show that I did at school. On it, this but is not the, This is the first purple. purple one I've seen, and it was my Romeo and Juliet shirt. It's not even a school shirt. So. What's on the back? Cappy Peppy. Yeah. That's what we said for Capulet. Yeah. <clears throat> we call it a nickname, but it's not shorter than mm -hmm. Capulet, so. That was a uh, show. You were soundboard? No, I was in this one. You were in that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of 4-H shirts, too. It's when I was an ambassador. I think I was 14. This is Kylie on the back. <clears throat> this is a school one from Beauty and the Beast. I got Smith on the back of this one. Okay, this is our Alaska shirt that we had. So, I don't have enough for Alaska to be its own, or not Alaska, 4-H to be its own quilt, though. Right. It's just another plain Ellsworth shirt, Ellsworth Panthers. And then we've got another one. This one's a homecoming shirt. Ellsworth homecoming versus Baldwin in 2016. Can't remember who ever won. <laughs> I don't care. I do remember. You do? Yeah. See, Baldwin this is a forensic shirt again from when I went to state that one year. So I got in Palm Springs, California. This one, I think, is also Palm Springs, California. I guess I liked a lot of these shirts. This would be a good sleepy shirt now. It's pretty big. This I got at Film Fest when I was in 4-H. Love this shirt. I don't get homesick, I get camp sink. I might, like, just take a couple of these to like, sleep in. Instead of putting them in a quilt. Last one. So those were all the t-shirts that I had to show you guys. Um, nothing too special. I just wanted to maybe show you guys a little bit of my high school years. And um, I'm not doing anything with them. I just wanted to kind of sort them. So yeah. But now we are puzzling. So we're going to finish, hopefully finish this puzzle tonight. And that's how we're going to end it. So let's get... Guys, we're getting so close. We just have this part to do. We don't have very many pieces left. Woohoo! I'm so excited. I said, ex said woohoo so many times yesterday. Sorry for saying it again. But, yay. How's that? That's a better word. It's going. Alright, perfect. No. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> no. <coughs> Ta da! Yay! Finally. Alright, guys, so we just finished the puzzle. So glad. Uh, it was kind of hard. We took like multiple hours to do it, but um, we finished it, so that was good. And now I'm going to end up the day here, so make sure if you like this video to leave a like and subscribe down below if you have not already. And I will see you guys for tomorrow's Vlogmas. Good night.